good morning guys this is workout number 25 and today we're doing an upper body focus with a little bit of banded legs thrown in for only one minute intervals all right so if you have bands you're going to need either one of the handled bands just like this the ones with the regular ones that are open with the handles i'm going to use a long light loop band a longer one for the lower body i'm going to go with a short loop band but you can use a rubber one. I prefer the cloth one, it's up to you. Or you can use one of the open bands and just tie it so that it stays up around your thighs. All right, you don't need bands at all. You can do everything with light weights. Um, we are doing four sets of Tabatas, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we're throwing in one minute intervals of lower body, but everything is primarily shoulder, with a little bit of back focus today, and it's a pretty much a low impact workout, all right? So if you have your bands, grab those. That's what you need, and a set of weights, light and medium, I'd say. All right. <clears throat> so we're starting off with our dumbbells, and we're gonna go pretty light because it's a lateral raise into a crescent, back to lateral and down. Lateral small semicircle at the front and back down. All right, elbows are soft. That's what we're doing. We're gonna pair it with a banded move that I'll show you right after. Here we go. It's only 20 seconds of work. So lateral, crescent, down, down. Don't let the weights rest at the outside of the thighs. And recover. All right, grab your band. One foot makes it a bit easier. Two feet give you more resistance. So we're gonna do front raise. Front raise, make sure you have enough resistance to open at the top. Front raise, open. Front raise, open. So it's a front raise with a pull apart. Three, two, and one, 10 second recovery. If you don't have enough, or if it's too hard to open, make sure that you put one foot through, not both. All right, here we go. Lateral, crescent front. Those are our two moves for the first set, that's it. Keep it going. Woo. These are already getting heavy. <sighs> Try not to swing. Recover. You might swing on the last one or the last two. All right. Oh. Make sure you have enough gift for that pull apart. Front hip raise, pull apart. Don't rest at the bottom. Again, you can do this with a light set of weights. and recover. Woo. Here we go. Round three. Lateral, crescent, down, down. Lateral, crescent, down, down. And recover. I'm struggling with those, but I'm going to try to stick with that weight. All right. Front raise, pull apart. Here we go. Elbows are soft. Ten seconds. swing. I know you want to right now. Control. Recover. Grab your band. In three, 
two, front raise, pull apart. Don't let the band relax at the center. Keep that resistance and tension on it. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, get that band to the side. Grab your loop band or tie the long one around your thighs. Here we go. We're doing one minute lower body. It's gonna be, make sure you have tension on the band. Squat, kick back the leg. Squat, re rear leg lift. All right, that's it for one minute. Here we go, chest is up. Squat, nice and deep. Rear leg lift. Come on, squeeze. We're only doing one round of lower body in between each Tabata. You guys can stay with me. And it's all low impact. Kick it straight up behind you. Come on. Halfway there. Nice deep squat. All the way in the heels. stance with the legs or with the feet. Here we go. Upright rows. Knees are soft. 
Don't relax at the bottom. Straight up and down. Remember you can do these with your handled bands. Three, two, and one. Last round. Here we go. Three, two, clean it up, press. Come on, last time through. Keep that torso nice and tight. And recover. Last round. Upright rows. Two, one, here we go. Come on, wide with the hands. Working on the shoulders, not the traps. Tight. All right, pull it apart. 
You're resisting, pulling that band apart. Here we go. Come on. Don't release that tension. Keep it on there the whole time. Just like a lap pull down, but you're doing it one at a time. Three, two, and one. Ah, Arnold. In three, two, keep that core tight. Here we go. Halfway. Come on, you guys got this. That's okay. All right. We are doing hangs between the legs. So you're actually hinging at the waist straight overhead. Hang straight overhead. All right. So I want you to get those weights close to the floor, but don't touch them down to the ground. All right. Here we go. Show you the next move with that after. So hinging at the waist. Come on, so you're almost doing like a swing to get those weights overhead in one smooth movement. 
and recover. All right, grab your band. I'm only gonna have one foot through. Hinging at the waist, front raise. If you're using a weight, just do two weights and both hands light weights, same movement. Don't let it rest at the bottom. And recover. So I'm hinging slightly at the waist for those front raises. Just like I'm doing for these hangs. Here we go. 20 seconds. Get back so you guys can see me. Come on. One motion. And recover. This time I'm going to try to put both feet on the band. Get a little more resistance. Hinging at the waist. Here we go. Front raise. So you're coming above your head for these front raises. Elbows are soft. Pull that band apart. Recover. If you're doing weight, same movement, but you're just coming out. All right, you can do a slight knee at the top. Light weights. Here we go. Halfway. Guys, this is our last to bottom round. Two and one. some rear delts in there too and recover oh you have one last round of the hanging cleans here we go focus Reverse lunges are a bit easier on the knees, so stick with that or don't use a band at all, okay? Here we go. Band on, above the knees. Watch out, I have weights behind me. Hopefully I don't trip on them. Just a front lunge, nice and controlled. Halfway through, we're gonna add a little pulse to that. Five, four, three, two. Now double pulse up, double pulse up. Same thing if you're doing a reverse lunge. The band keeps crawling up, just push it down above the knees. Come on, you got this, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Oh, get that hand off. All right, guys, Tabata is done. What we have left is a finisher. So, no weights. And only if you want to use a loop band or your long band, again, around the upper thighs. Optional. I'm going to show you what we're doing. Bear hold position with the band above my knees. All right, I'm pushing out against the band. 40 alternating shoulder taps. With that, we're doing 10 push ups. All right, so you're in a bear hold position. Don't need a timer, these are all reps. Bear hold position. Legs are wide, pushing against the band, pressing out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have 40, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20. One, two, three, four. Keep that resistance. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and forty. Shoot those legs back. You can come onto your knees. Still keep that resistance by pushing the legs out. Ten push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10. Take a little break. We have 30 bear hold shoulder taps. Here we go. Press against that band. One, two, three, four. Hips down. I did and a little bit of cardio at the end so all right I'll see you for workout number 26